At UFC Fight Night 171 in Florida, the 41-year-old Glover Teixeira proved he isn't done yet. He brutally picked apart Anthony Smith for a fifth round TKO in the second UFC event of three in just a week. Both men were in the hunt for another shot at John Jones and his light heavyweight title. And early on, it looked like Smith was set to run away with it. But a fractured orbital bone, a broken nose, and some knocked out teeth and veneers courtesy of the evergreen Brazilian changed all that in a big way. He gave his tooth to the referee. He told the referee, here's my tooth, recalled Tashira after the win. And I apologized to him saying, hey man, I'm sorry, but it's part of the job. And just a few nights later at UFC on ESPN 8, Alistair Overeem spoiled the fairy tale comeback of a heartbroken Walt Harris with a second round comeback of his own to score the TKO finish. It was Harris's first fight since the probable murder of his stepdaughter in December of last year. He came out strong and almost put Overeem through the cage with some heavy, heavy hands. But Overeem survived into the second to take his back and the TKO stoppage. We're still hunting for the title, Overeem claimed after his 46th pro MMA win. I would say also, I'm in the last phase of my career. So those two things are on my mind. Finish up the career and one more run at the title. With both the WWE and now the UFC successfully staging events in Florida during the current COVID pandemic, now, Governor Ron DeSantis has begun inviting other sports to the Sunshine State. All professional sports uh, are welcome here for practicing and for playing. Our people are starved to have some of this back in their lives. It's an important part of people's lives. So we want to be able to do that. I think we can certainly do it in a way that's been safe. And we have had events, UFC, these other things. UFC lightweight champion Habib Nurmagomedov's father and longtime trainer, Abdulmanap Nurmagomedov, has fallen once again into a coma due to the coronavirus. Abdulmanap was first placed in a medically induced coma after complications from pneumonia led to heart bypass surgery. But it has since been revealed that the initial complications were caused by COVID-19. It's a devastating hit for the Dagestani family. But according to Khabib, it's just one of many. More than 20 of my close relatives have suffered from COVID-19 and also had to stay in intensive care. Khabib revealed in an online interview, some of them are not with us anymore. To boxing, where the biggest news around is still the comeback of the two-time heavyweight champ, Mike Tyson. It's not quite the comeback many were hoping for as the 53-year-old has a more measured affair in mind. And quite frankly, that's a good thing. Some charity exhibitions, he explained on Instagram Live. Make some money, help some homeless and drug-affected mother like me. Against all odds, it looks increasingly like the 53-year-old will face his 57-year-old former arch nemesis Evander Holyfield for a third time. I'm back. While Tyson bit a chunk out of Holyfield's ear the last time they squared off in the ring, the two Hall of Famers have formed a fast friendship over the years. That's not to say the real deal isn't wary of Tyson. Ain't nobody getting a decision or win or lose or going for knockouts. Exhibition, he clarified. And if someone thinks they're going to hit me, I don't want them to think I ain't going to hit them back. The second man who could be getting a fight is the former lineal and WBO champ, serial party crasher and fellow Brooklyn bruiser, Shannon Briggs. Let's, let's go champ. Let's be real. If this were a real fight, Shannon the Cannon has just about every advantage he could ask for over Iron Mike. He's younger by five years, considerably taller and longer, and he's got more fights, wins, and knockouts, not to mention a recent steroid suspension. But the big thing is Tyson's 15 years worth of ring rust compared to Briggs's three. Let's just hope they both remember it's only an exhibition match. 
And for real boxing, Matchroom's number one guy, Eddie Hearn, has a wacky new plan to bring professional pugilism back to Britain. A good old fashioned backyard brawl at his mansion. Just imagine, it is summer. The house is all lit up. You can see Canary Wharf in the distance and fireworks are going off. Then, over the hill walk Dylan White and Alexander Povietkin for a massive tear up on my lawn. The idea of multi-million dollar earning professionals like White and Povietkin throwing down on Hearn's lawn seems outrageous. But when Dana White and the UFC are building a fight island, maybe he's serious? At UFC Fight Night 171, Glover Teixeira and Drew Dober both earned performance bonuses with their methodically inflicted TKOs. Brian Kelleher and Hunter Azur's early barn burner won fight of the night. And at UFC on ESPN 8, just a few nights later, Miguel Baeza and Courtney Casey wore early storms to claim their performance bonuses. And while it was a questionable win for Song Yadong over Marlon Vera, it was unquestionably fight of the night. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.